Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Data Pioneer from the Linux Unix Tech Channel on YouTube. And today I'm coming to you because I want to uh, throw my hat in the ring here on the debate that's going around on the Internet right now uh, regarding uh, Richard Stallman and Linus Torvalds and whether these guys should, uh, you know, speak for us for Linux, uh, whether they're stifling the adoption of Linux uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what brought me to uh, come to you today and talk to you about this is uh, several videos that are out there right now. And the one that uh, launched this whole debate, I think, is a uh, good uh, YouTuber. Good, sub I subscribe to him. Uh, I'm not a Patreon uh, member, but uh, I subscribe to him in, in any, any way. And uh, and I'm referring to DistroTube. Um, this guy is a really great guy. Uh, I think he's very smart. I think he he uh, he does a lot with Linux. I've seen him in interviews with uh, people interviewing him about his uh, his Linux YouTube channel. He's got a lot of subscribers up there. I've got a lot of respect for him. And um, however, uh, there's a recent video he released, and you're looking at it right now. It's called "Are These Guys Stifling Linux Adoption?" Got a couple of problems with this video, um, and here they are. Um, one is, I think, the approach that, and you know, and before I say anything, I'm not saying that DistroTube doesn't have a right to put this video up there, although I've asked him to take it down uh, in comments that I've made, and here's why. Um, he has the right to, to do what he wants to do. It's a free country. Uh, you know, YouTube allows you to say what you want. And he has, a, he has a right to do this. However, um, if you're asking a question of your subscribers, uh, are these guys stifling Linux adoption? And you put a video up, and the video is nothing but a compendium of uh, trash videos for both Linus and uh, Richard Stallman. Uh, I mean, all of them are negatively biased, in my opinion. Uh, they only show the bad aspects of these guys. So if you're asking a question legitimately, are these guys stifling Linux adoption, then you should present both sides of the story, not just um, the negative, okay? That's not fair. Uh, also, I will say that uh, the fact that DistroTube elected not to narrate the video at all kind of troubles me. Um, I think this is my personal opinion. I think that he was uh, letting the video speak for itself, but the problem with that is, is a lot of people are still questioning, they're still confused as to which side of the fence he's on. I, you know, when I first saw this video, um, it was, like I said, nothing but uh, trashing both of these guys. And um, I have to say that I really wasn't sure where DistroTube was coming from. Um, and my respect for the man has dropped a bit uh, as a result of this video. Uh, and I'm sorry to say that, but it has. Um, let me just go on to say that uh, in support of Richard Stallman and Linus Torvalds, I will have to agree with uh, DistroTube when he says that, you know, or when he projects in this video, um, that um, maybe they're not the best public speakers in the world. Uh, you know, uh, understandably, Linus is, has actually come out and admitted that he is not uh, good in front of crowds. He doesn't like to speak in front of crowds. Um, he's introverted. Uh, he's a programmer, Finnish programmer, obviously. Um, and so that's what he does, and that's what he does best. Speaking is not his forte. Uh, and as a result of that, yeah, he, maybe he said a few things he shouldn't have said. Uh, maybe he's not the person you'd want to have come to a group meeting and talk about Linux. I'm not really sure. Richard Stallman, on the other hand, uh, doesn't mind getting up in front of the camera. In fact, it's probably too much. Um, says things probably he shouldn't say, although what he does say he truly means. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I, th I think he stands behind what he says. Um, he doesn't uh, project the the right image, if you will, um, for Linux, perhaps. Um, he does say some things about GNU OS and how 
Linux has basically uh, taken over the namesake of the operating system that he developed, which was the GNU OS. Um, Linus Torvalds came in with the Linux kernel uh, and early on and it just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, Richard Stallman was looking for a kernel that he could not get to work uh, for his operating system. He was working on the herd, H-U-R-D, herd kernel. He couldn't work all the p bits and pieces out to make it uh, work. And as you know, a kernel of Linux, uh, or a kernel of any operating system for that matter, um, is the heart of the operating system. It's what ties the hardware and the software together. It's what allows them to communicate with one another. And uh, for whatever reason, Richard Stallman wasn't able to get Herd to work. And I'm, I'm not quite sure I can put my finger on why Herd wasn't ready. But he wanted to get GNU OS out there, and he found um, Linus Torvalds at the right time. He found that he had a kernel that he based on Minix, which um, was developed uh, from Unix. And um, so Linus offered that up to him, and uh, as a result, he, uh, Linus called the kernel Linux, which is a combination of Linus for Linus Torvalds and Minix for the uh, operating system that was like Unix, but, but which Linus Torvalds could not afford because Unix was too expensive. Uh, and so it called it Linux, and it caught on. And unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for that matter, I suppose, um, the world grabbed Linux, the name, and called the entire operating system Linux, when in fact Linux is nothing but the kernel. Um, has that caused Richard Stallman to be upset? I believe so, although he doesn't really come right out and blame Linus Torvalds. Uh, for, for stealing the name, basically, of his operating system. Uh, he insists that it be called GNU OS, or GNU Linux, rather. Uh, of course, we all know that GNU stands for GNU is not Unix, and uh, it's, so it's a circular name. Um, but, you know, and I'm not going to call it GNU Linux. I, I call it Linux because everybody else does. Um, but what I guess I'm trying to say here is, is if you're going to present a story or a position, a debate, if you will, on whether these two guys, Linus Torvalds and Richard Stallman, should be uh, supporting uh, or adopting uh, Linux as the operating system of the future for desktop, whether these guys should be promoting the Linux operating system, or whether they're stifling the Linux operating system, uh, then you need to present both sides of the story to be fair to them. I mean, understandably, Linus Torvalds, you know, he's a genius in his own right. He's a Finnish programmer who developed the Linux kernel basically um, at a kitchen table in his house, uh, wrote the, the entire kernel, and it worked. Uh, Richard Stallman uh, is a genius as well. I mean, he developed the entire GNU OS uh, from Unix using the Unix philosophy of modules. Uh, and he wrote it freely, to be freely given to everyone uh, as free and free source, not open source, but free source. I mean, he developed the uh, uh, Freedom Free Software Foundation uh, back in 1985, I believe. Uh, it's still thriving today. It has a, an annual uh, operating budget of around 1.3 million dollars. Um, I mean, it's so that's nothing to sneeze at. Um, Linus also developed uh, Git, the Git platform that everyone uses that Windows bought or purchased uh, from, uh, from him and is still going. I use Git all the time for downloads, et cetera, et cetera. I have things I've uploaded to Git. So, um, you know, Linus both and Richard Stallman have contributed greatly to this uh, world. I mean, uh, look at everything out there in the world that runs on Linux servers, top-level domain servers. Uh, the Facebook platform runs on Linux. You've got Android devices uh, that run on Linux platform. You've got, you know, millions if not billions of devices 
run on Linux. And that wouldn't be running on Linux. That might not even be around if it weren't for these two guys. So I have to applaud Linus Torvalds and Richard Stallman both for their uh, frontiersmanship, uh, for their uh, entrepreneurship, for their genius, technical geniuses and prowess, uh, and for what they did. Uh, does that mean that they can sit back on their laurels and, uh, and be applauded today and, and be invited to speak uh, on behalf of the Linux community? I'm not really sure about that either. Uh, but I guess the, what I'm trying to say here in a nutshell, and I'll get off my soapbox, is I'm not out for trashing either one of these two guys. And I have to say that the, uh, the video that the DistroTube did did just that. Um, let me uh, show you here. Here are the, there's a website called, I'll put this out on the link underneath the video. It's called uh, ITFOSS.com, Linus Torvald Facts. It's 20 facts about Linus Torvald as the creator of Linux and Git. So visit that page and take a look at, uh, you know, the 20 facts about Linus Torvalds uh, and the greatness of this guy. I mean, he's a really uh, super, super guy, a super programmer. Um, and uh, you have to applaud him for that. Um, and then go out to the Free Software Foundation and look at um, what uh, Richard Stallman has done um, and his work that he put in on the uh, open source software uh, and Free Software Foundation. Free to uh, Richard Stallman doesn't mean that it doesn't cost anything. Uh, what it means is that it's free to use. It's Libre. And... Uh, not a copyright. So you need to take a look at that. Go out to the freesoftwarefoundation.org. I'll put a link out to that as well. But I, I just wanted to um, come to this video to my platform and talk about uh, what I saw and uh, that I saw it to be um, very uh, unbiased, uh, very disrespectful of these two individuals. Uh, and I wish that the distro tube had not done it. Um, and as I said in my uh, comments to him, I wish that he would take this video down. Uh, there are others that are also uh, speaking out about it. Uh, Linux One Tech, I believe, has created a video about it. Uh, and uh, OTB, uh, Old Tech Bloke, has come out and spoken about this as well. So I thought that uh, I, Data Pioneer, throughout the Linux Unix Tech Channel would come out and, and speak about it as well, tell you what my impression is of what I see. I don't like what I see. I do see that these two guys should be applauded now even for what they've done in the past and what they're continuing to do. Uh, Linus uh, continuing to keep the kernel updated in the Linux and that we use every day, I, that I use every day. Uh, so I'll get off my soapbox. This has been Data Pioneer. Uh, from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. If you want to comment uh, down below this video, please go ahead. If you want to, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But I will tell you, if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why you thumbs down, okay? Not, not just give me a thumbs down and run. Um, if you uh, like this video, if you like my other videos, go ahead and subscribe to me, hit that bell, and uh, so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And so that's my opinion on are these guys stifling Linux adoption? Personal opinion, I don't think so. So this is Data Pioneer. See you around. Take care. Bye.